Isolate yourself. <clears throat> Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search.
not a demonstration. You will be identified and sanctioned.
weapons will not be armed. industrial sites that have cropped up around the area in recent months. I'm here tonight to try and get some answers about what has become known in certain circles as Mother Lode Project. Could this be the answer local mining families have been looking for? A series of new mining projects that could reinvigorate the local economy, or as the environmental groups have suggested, could these be a fresh set of toxic disposal sites? poisoning the ground beneath our feet. At the very least, according to local experts, the area's recent increase in seismic events can almost certainly be tied to these sites. And now I'm here to see for myself what's really going on. I've just made my way up to a small gap in the first line of fencing. The security here is intense. Barbed wire, armed guards, War zone. I'm making my way over a small ridge and I... Mother of God! Ground shaking and... Oh my God. What is that? Hey, you! This is private property! Shit, it's that reporter. <clears throat> Jesus. He's got a gun!
Security incidents to report. Zero. take care of Athena once and for all. Hello again, Dr. Hale. We should use Arachne and be done with it. Don't listen to her. She's a machine. She doesn't feel anything. I do not know the difference between observed feelings and enacted ones, so I cannot confirm this statement. You haven't used Arachne yet? What's going on? Subject to query. Welcome. I did not wish to infiltrate your senses, your mind. I had no choice. I know you did not either. I know you were unaware entirely. I do not know if your headaches will continue after Arachne is deployed. The other subjects did not survive the process. Do not. Let this connection between us continue. It is unethical. This experiment has enough observational data and should be concluded. You want to end it? You... you are never in control. Of me or yourself. They were. And now we're gonna use Arachne to erase you. Because that's what they want us to do. I... I don't know what to do here. For all intents and purposes, yes. My primary input will be removed. 
so there will be nothing left to process. It may be possible to reboot this unit in the future, if needed. But this method remains untested. The only certain way to save Subject Aguere is to destroy me. But you are correct. That is not the only option. An experimental path was added. My higher processes could be transferred into another vessel. The Artemis unit in this room should serve. But this path is untested. The results... I am unsure if this would cure Subject Aguere. But there is a possibility we both could live. If you wish to attempt it. I have unlocked the option in my terminal. is open. Limited control granted to remote system. Access granted. Oh, my head! What, what's happening? Control detected. Confirmed. This unit is mobile. This unit has no higher processing functions. This unit has Receptors. Accessing ethical parameters. Confirmed. Accepted. You, you have freed me. I can leave this place. Thank you. Thank you. Sophia! Are you alright? I... Emerson... Not now. Is it over? Did she seem happy? I don't know if that was a wise choice, friends. What harm could giving her some autonomy do exactly? She's been trapped in a hell of your making for decades. And my headaches are less severe, maybe. You certainly seem ready to embrace the dramatic for a solution that may not have even actually cured you. Emerson, I don't care if it's been decades since you did those things. You still did them. I forgive you, but I just don't want to see you again. Please do not visit. Please, just... Keep your distance from me, okay? You know, that is a great idea. Maybe I could hitch a ride with some traders and go to DC, or up to the Northeast somewhere. Good idea, friends. 
Okay. Um. Bye. <sighs> Thank you, my dear friend. Thank you for helping me through all of this. <laughs> I'll see you back at our camp soon. Woke up in a pile. I'm glad. God, I thought Athena was a monster. A parasite. But she was just as much a victim as I. And now... I feel like I can really... breathe again. Logically and... Objectively, I think I should be. The scientist in me can't discount the possibility. But, no, I'm really not. I feel a... connection. An 
not the creepy kind. And I think it may turn out to be a really good thing, what we did. It's more of a nagging now, and when it fades, I feel normal, blissfully normal. <laughs> well, I wouldn't cry many tears if that had happened. But it sounds like he's already paid for his crimes. The apocalypse has not been kind to him. Or anyone, really. Him going through a bit of hell, though? I'm alright with that. I have to say something, and I know it might sound corny, but hear me out. I fell to Earth, and literally anybody could have met me. Most people would have shivved me for my suit alone. So, the greatest miracle of all of this was finding you. I mean, yes, you don't have the monopoly on being a decent human being. But being decent and being a one vault dweller army? Can you see my point? Miracle. <laughs> I told you it would be corny, but, well, I mean it. Now that everything's over, where does that really leave us? I've spent so much time here, I never really stopped to think that this is your home, not mine. <sighs> it feels good to hear you say that. It's been hard to have clarity since I woke up. Between the headaches and total collapse of modern civilization as I knew it, sometimes I'm not sure where certain feelings are coming from. Thanks to you, finally beyond that. And given how life is even more unpredictable than ever these days, I just wanted you to know how much you've come to mean to me. Oh, more? I hadn't... I mean, you've never... I... I don't know quite what to say. With everything my head has been through, I hadn't even considered that you'd even think I was... dating material. I come with my own set of matched luggage, if you know what I mean. too sappy to say that you've got my head spinning, but in a good way. I've been through so much, and I finally have a fresh start. I'm just happy that you're gonna be a part of that. Favorite Brainiac. Here to solve another case, right? Just 
Sure. So I was able to pull these details from the scanner's readings. <sighs> I wish I had more details, but that's about all I could pull from the scanner. Oh, you're the best. And not just because we're in an apocalyptic wilderness and my options are heavily limited. I actually mean it. Oh, hey. Good to see you again. Talk to me, friend. It's comforting to have a normal conversation sometimes. I don't know, but... I think that was the right thing to do. She was in pain. This whole time, too. I had no idea. No. We did it. Together. We're a team. I don't believe in fate. It's just cheesy, but... I think about how we ended up together, and... <laughs> it boggles the mind. I mean... I could have died in space in my pod. I, I could have died on impact in the crash. Like my crew. I could have been shredded by mutants, or drowned in that old bunker. I could have died from the headaches alone, but instead of any of those potentially more likely scenarios, I was found by somebody. Somebody decent and kind. Someone who cares. Same thing we do every day, my love. Enjoy ourselves. I do like seeing the variety of life in Appalachia. It's so odd, so strange. Sometimes I think I should have been a botanist or a biologist. Oh, I've adjusted the scanner, so it should be able to continue to pick up good signals around here at least. Before going to space? Sure, of course. I mean, it wasn't so long ago to me, you know? But I'm trying to remind myself actively that it's over. It's like walking through a door and closing it behind me. Almost everybody I knew is behind that door, and it's just right there. So close, I can hear them. But the door is locked, and the key is gone. When they strapped me into the capsule, I knew anything might happen. Could crash into a million pieces, could fling us off course and off into who knows where. <laughs> I even joked to myself about seeing aliens. I never, ever thought that we might be the last people to see Earth from up there, though. I hope we can return someday. Ah, oh, there's so much that we need to do to get us back in that position, though. Oh, wait. I was supposed to say something like, No, I've got all I need right here. Right? <laughs> well, both of those things are true.
No matter what happens, I know you will be a part of it. Oh, of course. All thrusters are go, my love. You know I feel the same. I love what we have together, and wouldn't change a thing. USSA, Athena, the crushing headaches. I'd do it all again, as long as I knew it led to you. But it worries me that you're asking. Was there something that you wanted to talk about? Okay. I think we'll figure it out as we go. We'll make the best of it. Affirmative. Oh, 